Just do it! Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing an interior uh, wood flooring similar to the result you get when using the material converter of Polygon. You can download the textures from many paid websites or you can stick to the free textures or maybe you can also do your own texture. I'll be doing a material creation video soon, but for now, let's make this wooden effect. So let's start with getting our diffuse map, AO map, reflection map, normal map, glossiness map and finally the displacement map. Go to the state material editor, right click and create a new V-Ray material. Click and drag next to the diffuse map, general, composite and then double click the new box and add a new layer. This will help us overlay two maps on top of each other. Click on layer 2 and drag, go to general, bitmap and then choose the AO map. Once done, go to the setting of the layer 2 and change it from normal to multiply. Now go back to layer 1, general, bitmap and choose the color map or the diffuse map. Don't forget guys to untick use real world scale in every bitmap you import. Now head over to reflect map, pick general and choose RGB multiply. Now drag and drop near color 1, go to general, bitmap and choose the reflection map. We noticed that this reflection map is black and not white. So let's go to the reflection map settings and go to output and invert. Now go to RGB multiply settings, uh, click on color 2 and change it from white to gray to decrease the level of reflection. Next we're gonna be adding some bump. So go to bump and drag, uh, click on V-Ray and choose V-Ray normal map. Now click and drag next to normal map, go to general, bitmap and add the, the normal map. Don't forget to override it before opening it. After the bump map, we're gonna be adding some reflection glossiness. But we need to add some color corrections for the material. So go and choose color correction. Then drag from map color connection and add a RGB multiply. Now from color one, go to general, bitmap and choose the glossiness map. Now we will need to invert it in the output and re-invert it in the color correction map. Then go to the RGB multiply settings, go to color 2 and change it to gray. And finally, go to displacement, general, bitmap and choose the displacement map. The last step in this tutorial will be to go to the material uh, settings, go to the maps, 
change the amount of uh, bump to 100 and decrease the displace to 0 0.2. Sometimes you would need to decrease even more your displace amount and that depends on the scale of the object. Best way is to try and get the perfect displace amount you want by rendering some tests. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Tell me what you think about it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.